Ever since Skyblock was released, so many items have been overlooked on how good they actually are. In today's video, I'll be going over some of the most broken items in Hypixel Skyblock and showing you how underrated they are. Items such as the Warden Helmet or Hyperion will not be stated in this video, as they are for sure not underrated. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like and subscribing, we've just shot past 1000 subs and I can't thank you guys enough. I love reading your positive comments and it makes me motivated to make more videos. Also, if you haven't already, head on over to my Discord. We're an active community with over 300 members and hold weekly Skyblock giveaways. See you there! So you probably heard of crystal mining, and no, I'm not going to go on a rant, but instead show a completely broken technique that top crystal miners used to make over 50 million coins an hour. What you'll need for this is a pickaxe, drill, or gauntlet. You will need as much fortune and pristine as you can get. This will earn you the flawed gemstones which make you the most money. I'm using Sora and a gauntlet which isn't the best gear, but it still works fine. The better your gear, the more overall money you'll make. Next, get an armadillo pet. I suggest a legendary that is above level 80, as they have a lot more energy than the lower rarities. Legendary armadillos are originally hatched from prehistoric eggs which have been walked 100,000 blocks. These eggs can be found anywhere in the crystal hollows from chests to nucleus loot. The armadillo's second perk, Tunneled, allows the rider to break hardstone or ores, such as crystals, in its path. Basically, all you need to do is find a place where there is a lot of crystals. For example, I use the crystal shards in the Precursor Remnants. Once you've found your mining spot, hop on an armadillo, hold your mining tool and ride around. You'll see that your armadillo is one-shotting multiple crystals at a time, and that pristine is activating in chat. Not even a billion coin tool, Divan's Drill, can one-shot crystals. I bet you'll make life so fun for the admins doing this completely broken mining strategy. <laughs> if you've been playing Skyblock for a while, you've probably heard of this item called the Stock of Stonks. Originally, the item was sold by the NPC Warren for a limited amount of time at the price of 200 coins. Because it was and is still being used as a test item, it could be deleted at any one time, so it was risky to invest in. To this day though, the Stock of Stonks is worth around 400,000 coins on the bazaar, with a peak of 500,000 a few weeks ago. If you bought the stock of stonks when it was sold by the NPC, you will have multiplied your money by 2,000 times. That's insane. Imagine you were able to get your hands on 100 stock of stonks. Your 20,000 coins spent would be worth 40 million coins now. Do consider though that there was a risk of losing all your money at any given time. The stock of stonks is a very risky market to enter into, but can be a very broken investment in the long run. I'm guessing a lot of you would rather make money fast rather than doing slow overtime investments. You'd probably do something like sorrow farming, right? Well, it didn't turn out great for this guy. This item is called the Gyrokinetic Wand. It costs 50 million and is almost the complete opposite of the aspect of the dragons. This Enderman Slayer weapon pulls all the mobs together in its radius where it was aimed at, making it much easier to kill them. To be able to use it, you will need Enderman Slayer level 6. Besides ruining Sora Farmer's days, the Gyrokinetic Wand can be overpowered for dungeons as there is a lot of mobs. The most common use for it is Floor 6 with the Terracottas and Floor 7 with Wither Skeletons, usually used with the Juju, Hyperion or Terminator to kill the trap mobs. The Gyrokinetic Wand is overall one of the most underrated weapons to have, but the only downside is it needs a higher Enderman Slayer level to be able to use it. Speaking of killing mobs, the Enchantment One for All makes this easy. Minikloon, a Hypixel Skyblock admin and developer, announced on the 26th of May, 2021, that Skyblock would receive a strength nerf. Following the announcement, the nerf removed the 20% strength value from the base damage formula. If that didn't make any sense, basically strength was nerfed to shrink the damage cap between early game and mid game players. After this patch, One for All became the new meta since strength was nearly irrelevant. The weapons with high base damage stats such as the giant sword skyrocketed in price as they became a popular weapon for late game players. If you haven't already caught on, if a weapon has a high base damage, the 210% damage multiplier from the one for all enchant would increase this further making them the highest damaging weapons in the game. In my opinion, one for all should be worth way more than 12 million as it gives a huge buff in damage to lots of weapons. If you're looking for ways to sweat dragons and deal heaps of damage, I've got you covered. One of the best items for dragons nowadays is the Axe of the Shredded. This Revenant Slayer weapon costing around 75 million can deal tens of millions of ghost damage to dragons. Basically, ghost damage is when a mob takes damage but their health does not decrease. What you do is aim the axe up at the dragon and pre-fire just before it spawns. 
You want your armor to just have enough mana and the rest damage stats. As soon as the dragon stops, spam right click until it starts moving again. In the meantime while it is moving, if you have a juju or terminator, you can deal even more damage but those deal actual damage, not ghost. Your competitors will struggle to beat you with damage because how broken this item really is. You'd be surprised but when that axe of the shredded was released, its ability dealt way more damage than it does now, going up in the hundreds of millions. Even though it has been nerfed since, it's still an extremely OP weapon for dragon fights. That's all for today, if you enjoyed the video consider leaving a like and subscribing, don't forget to join my discord, thanks for watching, see ya!